In this video, I'm talking about a new pharmaceutical drug intended to treat tinnitus called Odo313. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Perhaps the only thing that people are more excited about than a cure for hearing loss is a cure for tinnitus. In fact, I get nearly the same amount of inquiries about tinnitus treatment options as I do for hearing loss treatment options. And while some of the most effective tinnitus treatments continue to be the use of hearing aids, tinnitus retraining therapy, otherwise known as TRT, or cognitive behavioral therapy, otherwise known as CBT, people still want to have that pharmaceutical drug that just gets rid of tinnitus once and for all. Well, back in 2009, a study was conducted on a drug called gacyclidine, which is a non-competitive NMDA receptor antagonist, which has been shown to suppress salicylate-induced tinnitus in guinea pigs. Salicylate-induced tinnitus is a type of tinnitus that is brought upon by the overuse of salicylate drugs such as aspirin. Gacyclidine is closely related to another drug that you may be more familiar with called fencyclidine, which is also known as PCP, which is a psychoactive drug used to elicit hallucinations. Nevertheless, to my knowledge, gacyclidine does not have hallucination properties, and in this particular study, six individuals with signal-sided deafness and tinnitus were administered a continuous perfusion of gacyclidine to see if it had an impact on their overall tinnitus perception. The drug solution was administered through a catheter that was implanted through the eardrum and ending at the round window allowing the gacyclidine to permeate the round window membrane for a period of 40 to 63 hours continuously. At the completion of the treatment, four out of six of these participants experienced temporary relief of their tinnitus symptoms. And while this may not seem like a big deal, it was enough for a company named Autonomy to take this drug gacyclidine through a phase one and phase two FDA clinical trial to see if it is safe and if it's effective to treat tinnitus. However, there are two big differences between these clinical trials and this study that was completed in 2009. First is the double-blind nature of these clinical trials. On top of there being more participants in the clinical trials as well, half of these individuals will be receiving a placebo and the other half will actually be receiving the gacyclidine. In the original study, all six individuals used gacyclidine, so it is unclear whether or not this was just a placebo effect or whether or not gacyclidine actually worked. The second difference is the delivery method of the gacyclidine drug. Back in 2009, the participants received a continuous perfusion of gacyclidine that was making contact with the round window for 40 to 63 hours. Well, in the clinical trials, they're only doing an intratympanic injection to get the gacyclidine into the middle ear space to make contact with the round window. So I don't know how much more effective that could possibly be than to have a continuous stream of gacyclidine for 40 to 63 hours, but it makes me question whether or not the dosage is going to be high enough to actually evoke a positive response. With any luck, this single injection will prove to be a safe delivery method and hopefully it ends up resulting in a reduction in overall tinnitus perception. These clinical trials are expected to be completed in May of 2020 and we should see some published data hopefully by the end of the year. Now, I will go ahead and link the website clinicaltrials.gov for the Odo313 clinical trial so you can check it out yourself. In the meantime, I'm going to keep my eye on this company, Autonomy, who's also creating other pharmaceutical drugs to treat conditions like hearing loss and Meniere's disease. So I like where this company is going. They have a really direct focus on treating ear-related conditions, and so hopefully I'll be able to keep you posted on some updates with these other drugs as well. Currently, there is no cure for tinnitus, but there is help. If you want to continue your research, check out the American Tinnitus Association website that I will link in the description of this video. And if you want some help right now, what you need to do is you need to find an audiologist who specializes in tinnitus treatment. They can get your questions answered and they can get you set up with a treatment option that can actually reduce your perception of tinnitus. So the help is out there. You just have to go find it. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.